want justice! We want justice! 100 years ago today, the Turkish Ottoman Empire began the systematic murder of the Armenian people. Today, Turkey still refuses to call it a genocide. At the time, two million Armenians lived in the Ottoman Empire. It's believed by some historians that Turks feared their growing strength, which led them to wipe out 1.5 million Armenian men, women and children. Zarmine Begijanyan, who now lives in Yuma, says her family is a direct product of the Armenian genocide. With my great-great-parents, they were, they were the ones that were involved in this and they were um, actually forced to leave to, from the fear of their lives. Forced to walk endlessly in the desert, some Armenians were able to flee the terror to neighboring Syria, Iraq and Iran. Begijanyan's great-grandparents were part of the groups that sought safety, specifically in Iran. Most of them, they were led into Syria desert, and um, I don't know how they got to Iran, but I know they fled for their life. Um, a lot of them, they, they had to, and Iran was the closest place they could go to. So why is it that Armenians continue to bring up this point in history a hundred years later? It is a very sad day for us, so they're trying to bring it back for them to people to be more educated what had happened, what took place. The Armenian National Institute lists 23 countries that consider the 1915 atrocities a genocide, with the U.S. still on the fence. And Turkish Prime Minister Ahmed Domutoglu calling it a civil war. If you're in a war with any country, you're in a battlefield. You're fighting with whatever you know you have, but if it's genocide, which, which that's what it was, um, you know, you go into homes. You, you know, they went into the home to children, to women, they raped, they killed. If you're in a war, you don't really do that. So each year on this day, April 24th, Armenians gather across the globe to march in hope of one thing, recognition. Reporting in Yuma, I'm Ella Sugamonian.